Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So in this one we are very close to finishing the next technology which will allow us to, if we exit this menu, go to expeditions and where is it? Ancient alien ship. So um, yeah, as soon as you're done Gwen, I think you are pretty happy, a little bit tired, but uh, I would like to send you off right away. Now one thing I have realized was that our silicon farm over here was not big enough yet. Yeah, it's gonna yield us only about 200 silicon, which is not enough. So I think we have doubled it over here. I mean, Lara is a little bit busy right now, but uh, as soon as she is done, uh, we'll be able to plant them. All right, so the mission is a go now. Here we go, Gwyn, go and bring some food with you and off you go. Lovely. Now we have also started to sort of upgrade our fencing. And I think the first sort of areas that we want to do is next to our power producer. So here we go. Upgrade this section as well, please. And if we can do the same over over here, that would be lovely. All right, there you go. With everything else, I think we are pretty good. And one of our goals in this episode is to start making uh, turrets. That's the word I was looking for. About to run away 1,100. Okay, I would like you guys to go and get all that. Lara, you're a little bit busy again. What are you doing? Fuel. Uh, I mean, it is fairly important. I think hauling crane is... Um, yeah, we need this now. Right, you go as well. All three of you, and we should be able to gather pretty much everything. Let's see, what can we ferment? Oh, we should probably do some ale as well. Here we go. Expedition complete. Automated distress message. Uh, it tells us the story of an ancient terraforming fleet that reached the planet many millennia ago. It is not clear what were their objectives or whether the fleet managed to complete them. I see nothing of further use here. So all we get is Quinn, Quinn's happiness. Discovered ancient civilization. Plus 25. I mean, it's not bad. But it would have been fun if we sort of got something tangible as well. Maybe like a new weapon or, I don't know, something. Right, few bugs over here. How about we observe you and the other ones are going to be harvested for food. Falling a spaceship debris. How far are you? Not crazy far. Oh, you're dead. Uh, that seems like free meat for us. What's happening over here? Why are you all dying? Oh, well, we ain't complaining, so yeah, let's um, pick it all up. Lara's reach combat one. And these ones, okay, we can ignore those messages as well. I would like to send Quinn on the next mission as soon as, oh, we don't have the fuel. There isn't a lot of interesting stuff that we can do right now. Okay, so I do remember that in one of the previous episodes I said that with the uh, foundations, once you build them, you're kind of stuck with them forever, but I wonder, can we, oh, we, no, that's a wall. No, we can reconstruct them. Now the question is, if there's anything already built on those foundations, are they gonna sort of be affected? Like, Am I gonna lose the whole room, the roof, the walls, if I was to upgrade the um, foundation? I mean, I guess there's only one way to find out, but for the time being, what we'll do here is concrete. Uh, which sides shall we do? I, I guess over here we'll be fine. Alright, we'll raise it up with X. How high do we want you to be? I mean, we do want it to be quite high, or a little bit lower. No, this one is the furthest, so I guess we'll... Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, this one looks a little bit higher, but that's because it's on a bit of a slope, it seems. Uh, grain's starting to go down a little bit, but 2,000 in the bank is still pretty good. Power-wise, very good. Producing a ton. Materials. Electronics is a little bit low, and we cannot produce any more in here. Because we don't have silicon. I mean, we can definitely go around and see if there's any oh there's some over there but it is a little further away okay how about for the time being we will increase you i know it is excessive 
Yes, but I don't want to be running out of this stuff because that's the most... Well, one of the most important ingredients to start producing electronics and uh, eventually the other things down the line as well. Okay, Ken, with you, it's lovely that you are crafting. But I think for crafting we have Nova as well, so Ken, it might be more important if you go and start scavenging. So with electricity, we do have the foundations in place. Why don't we take a look at those turrets? Metal alloys, we can uh, always make some more pretty easily. Uh, CPU cores, well, we got 10, so why don't we give this a try? Yep, let's start with one. And to be a bit more power conscious as well, what we shall do is a power switch right over here. Same thing with you, one electronics and ten alloys, which is fine. Electronics is a bit concerning, because we only have nine left and we cannot produce more, so... I think with you, let's have a look. Quinn, how are you feeling? Okay, you're pretty hungry, tired. So perhaps now is not the time to send you out on yet another mission. I think it is time to start building a few few of these guys over here. Yep, let's do two of them. And since we have a ton of scrap metal as well, we are gonna further increase the uh, sort of trap field. Okay, speed it up. We've got the resources in already. Uh, active circuit will do number 10. And uh, same with you as soon as we finish the construction of that. Okay, lovely. Gwen. As soon as you are fully rested, a few things are gonna rot away, fair enough. As soon as you are fully rested, we shall send you out. I mean, we don't really have any good missions right now, but it doesn't hurt to go to the current ones. Okay, are you gonna be awake soon? Ken's already working. Quinn? Alright, you sleepyhead, come on. Everyone else is starting to wake up slowly as well, and um, yeah, Quinn, fine. It's, um, it is time to go. Spaceship debris. This one, 10 hours. Uh, right. Let's do, let's do this one. Alright, off you go. Quinn. Get in there. Grab some food. A few snacks with you. And... <laughs> Our production is still very good. Right, I am starting to feel that we want another freezer over here don't have the alloys quite yet but this is working 24 7 I think will in further increase you to 200 okay a bit more scrap from Ken lovely bring it in and um, with the rest of it I think oh hold on a second we've got uh, the first flamethrowers in already which is lovely fuel expedition complete so what do we get from here clothes um no we got tons of scrap so maybe some clothes will be uh, will be useful so as soon as the dirt is complete we're gonna switch you over as well and uh oh yep i think we've run out of <sighs> metal alloys how far are you 80 90 okay not to worry that's gonna be complete any second now and i mean to be fair Oh, hold on a second. Let's go to number 10 and turn this one off. And we do have another mission here. Right, what do we get? Jackets, pants, and some more pants. Not bad. Uh, this one's full as well, Quinn. Let's have a look. Yes, you're tired. However, if that expedition was only six hours... Uh, no, we might prefer a happy Gwen. Uh, Mission-wise as well, <laughs> mech cores, okay, we still haven't gotten any of them. Not connected to a power source, oh, that is probably something else we do have to do is, um, let's bring those power lines. Oh, you can go pretty far now, that's good. Okay, one over there, you are connected, yes you are. One over here, and that's where we can get some energy during light storms uh, hold on a second you're gonna go from here okay good any more towers around this area oh yes 
Oh, there was one already over here. And here. So... Am I a little bit blind, I wonder? Because you're still not connected. Yeah, let's bring this over, over here as well. I think we'll be fine now. Cool, so resource-wise... Yeah, sticks is always a struggle, but I feel we got a pretty... Pretty fancy, sizable field here. Alright, and it appears we have another group of animals and insects that do want to ambush us. Oh, unfortunately, they are on the wrong side. Oh dear, okay. I mean, we do have a turret over there. And we can deal with the ground animals. So if we have all of our survivors on this side, we might actually be fine. Yeah, we're not going to have enough time to sort of construct everything we need on this side as well. Actually, never mind. I think it's quite risky to leave everything to the um, last minute. Ken, are you gonna, going to scavenge? No, I don't think you shall. You guys are going to come here and, as per usual, we'll uh, try and distract and get rid of maybe... I mean, if we can eliminate at least half, then I'd already be very happy. Okay, let's uh, aggro one of those bugs, run back, and let's see what happens. There's seven, two, okay, quite a few of you. I think you guys can All right, start shooting and come a little bit closer. Oh dear, okay. These big guys, we don't like them because of that. Oh no, where are you going? This slope isn't working in our favor. Okay, fine, everybody. No. Okay, at least he's unconscious now. Now, move forward a little bit. I think we might be fine if we can just distract a few more of them. Oh dear. Okay. That's quite a few, but then again... Nothing we can't handle. Time to move a little further. Let's see. 8, 10. Yep, I think that's enough. Off we go. And... Looks good so far. Okay, shoot the big guy. Everyone else can worry about the the mosquitoes. All right, yeah, take that one out as well. Lovely. Okay, how many left? Nineteen, one, and those dragonfly-looking things. Bring a few more in. Okay, I think everyone is starting to attack now. Well, it is quite a few, but. I wonder if we do need to start pulling back a little bit. Is someone still here? No. Okay, fine. I think we are going to need your help as well. Few shots. Yep. Don't want to lose all of you guys. And do a few more. Okay, good. We're dropping them pretty quickly. How about you shoot this one? Okay, only five left. And you can go now as well. Um, you are hurting a tiny bit. But I think we're we're okay with this. Fine, Nova, you're undrafted. Go and get some get some treatment. And that's the final one. Well I'm glad we went to went to meet them because had they attacked all at the same time, I feel we might have lost someone. I am quite curious about those crystals at 28%. Okay, so that's um, still quite far. Infection, mild, acid burn. That's treated. And all you need is just some antibi antibiotics as well. Okay, cool. So we do have one turret. Uh, I think before we get another one here, we might do one more on this side. Just to be on the on the safe side. And something that we also do need here is let's extend the trap field. And I do wanna have so look flamethrower, you're gonna take some metal alloys. Okay, we're starting to have a few more. But I have a feeling that um Oh, we can do silicon. Okay. Perfect. Now Another one of those machines over here. Yes, it's gonna take one of the fabricator matrixes. Uh, we 
which is unfortunate. To build one of you, we are going to need 50 metal alloys, CPU cores, which we can fabricate from here as well, but silicon. Okay, right. We need to build one of you to get the silicon to be able to use this machine to make CPU cores. And once we've done those, more of this stuff again. Because electronics is um, a little too low for our for our liking. Right, we'll get this built. And that is all good now. I might be a little worried about the power. Five electronics. No, I mean, they are full, but I'd like to store a few more because right now in this season seems the winds are pretty good but pretty sure it's not gonna last too long anyways we'll, we'll we'll see right when it comes to food it would also be very lovely to have another freezer in here new resource ale okay so that's good another source of happiness we've got plenty of bricks so yeah let's um upgrade another section over here offense reconstruct and there we go okay so found some remains okay so we can trigger something not really sure what happens when we dismantle the machine we don't want the toxic ash fall cold snap heat wave but meteor rain on the other hand we might get some resources who knows do we have anything interesting up here though could scavenge you Oh, shiny rock. Why don't we check out what's over here then? And, um, yeah, if we do have a bit of spare time, since we, since we just had an uh, attack on us as well, I think it might be a good time to try and clear one of those nests over here. Yeah, that's probably a pretty good idea. Okay, food wise, we might leave Emblin and Lara home, but with everyone else, why don't we just. Uh, do a quick little hike. Okay, you're working. You seem to be working already. Come on, Ken. When? All right, four of you. All of you guys, we can put it on the. Put you on the front line. Yep. Yeah, let's. Oh, that was just a one hit. Ember, you focus on the big ones. Uh, you might want to go back a little bit. All of you guys as well. Okay, they're injured. Mm, Emlyn, I think you can help us out now. Oh, keep running. Nope, don't... Okay, good. Try and hit this one. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the... about the tiny ones over there. I think we might have just cleared the... Uh, cleared the whole nest already. Yeah, so why don't we march in there, see what happens. I do want to get rid of this hive over here. Ember, if you provide us with some cover. No, let's leave you guys to it. And whilst we are already here, why don't we poke our heads into into this one as well? Right, observe and maybe Quinn or Nova undraft. Incapable of observing. Okay, fine. Undraft and observe. Everyone else is going to go this way. To help us clear the next nest. Hold on a second. Which one's closer? Yeah, I guess we can go over here. There is a bit of a ledge over here. So we might want to reposition ourselves. No, don't go there. Alright, all three of you lazy people as well. Run to Ember. Uh, why did you hit the small one? Don't really care about the small ones as much. Um, no, now we now we care about them. Uh, hold on a second, Ember. I do wanna keep you alive. Okay, focus your firepower. Oh, there's another big one over there. Okay, maybe if you guys would be so kind and help Ember whilst she's protecting you from those big nasty ones. Alright, are you guys fine? I think I think we're fine, right? Oh no, miss again. Oh yeah, very close. And ouch, that's gonna hurt. But I think we might be able to, yeah, get another nest now. Knock these guys out as well. Come a little bit closer. There might be another one hiding perhaps somewhere. When you are still researching, so... Okay, fine. Everyone attack the nest over here. 
and this observation is um, more than halfway through so let's leave you at that and once it is done we can very kindly ask them to start mining the carbon fiber as well which will be very useful for some buildings and also weapons I believe all right discovery a nest formation I think we are gonna return and try and mine and bring the carbon fiber home so there we go looking pretty good so far we're gonna have a large intake of carbon fiber very soon i think another thing we do want to do here is let's increase our uh, shelving and storage space we've got a bit more silicon it appears which means we are producing electronics already that is fantastic we've got an another cpu core which uh, i think ken is bringing home okay nova reach crafting three wonderful uh, you are still producing alloys, 3D printer is working as well, and 77% on the silicon. Yeah, when it comes to doing the tasty meals, I, I think right now Emeline is still able to keep up with all the cooking tasks. So we don't want to overload our power here. Yeah, we do have a bit, but it's only because it's nice and windy right now. Scavenge another six electronics. Okay, that's really good few things we do want to do is let's have a look at the fuel first of all Nova what are you crafting limits reached no we want uh, I, I think we want like 200 that's probably when we feel a bit more comfortable yeah especially due to the um, what's it called the vegetable oil yeah because we are using them for meals as well I mean if we want to lessen our dependence on it Let's have a look. Metal alloys. Maybe as a secondary thing, once it is done, we might do some fuel from here. Cargo bots. Okay. Quinn, uh, where are you? You are eating your meal, which is fine. As soon as you're done, which is now, we are going to go straight to the cargo bot. Let's have a look what we can gather. Sometimes it does give us quite a, quite a few lovely things. So we shall send you over. Okay, fortunately, he was able to do a bit of relaxation here as well and chill out so he's a bit bit happier now isn't him it? it's dark barefoot oh clothes that is something we haven't actually checked in a while nothing hat beanie for you i know you're about to go to sleep but let's have a look at everyone else as well oh you've got no shirt at all and it is a little bit chilly outside okay so that's probably something we do have to start figuring out now when it comes to shoes, synthetic boots, you take alloys, but alloys right now we need for a few other things. Yeah, everything else, I... Uh, hmm. Let's do it this way for now. Right, at the grass site, what can we look for medicines, uh, food, clothes, um, don't really need anything. I mean, food, yes, is a little low. But I feel like let's grab some clothes and um, what is going on with the food? Awaiting materials, Emlyn. Why do we not have any food left? Maybe we should do another freezer as a matter of priority because we've. Um, I've noticed we've lost a few due to rotting indoors. So, okay, cooked meals into this one. Can we finally do another one of these? Fifty and one. Okay, we got 10 of you CP core, so I think let's let's do it. Okay. Cool, we are going to need a switch for you as well, so let's place another one there. I think power-wise we should be should be pretty good. I don't want to use any more alloys, so we're not going to build any more flamethrowers for the uh, for the time being. But we do need some on this side as well. And a dust storm has arrived, which uh, it's just going to slow them down a little bit, but otherwise we're we're pretty fine. Okay, animal attack Oh. oh, okay. Interesting. Why are you still on? Did we not? I see. We have not turned it off. Wait a second. You are on circuit 10. You're switched off. Why is this one working then? Huh. When on a turns on devices in its active circuit, which is 10 in this case. Right? And you are also in 10. So why are you not controlling? Okay, that is a little bit confusing consuming 40 right now but you shouldn't be on at all 
think I'm missing something. Let's try. How about we turn you on for uh, for a second? Let's see what happens. Uh, no, Lara, you can go and do something else. Okay, it is on now. Active circuit. Okay. Handle. No, it is still on. Well, this is really odd. Okay, if I'm completely honest, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I might have to just reload the game because... Yeah, I think I'm blind. I mean, everything should be connected to power. Active circuit, inactive. When on turns on the devices in its active circuit, which is this one. But it is off right now. Oh, I see. I see what the problem is. Ah. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I thought I was I was actually I was genuinely so confused why this one was still working here because Um it in theory everything was correct. But yeah, I'm glad we checked because we did copy this switch over from the other side, which means all the settings do come through as well. So yeah, let's um, switch you over, Lara. Handle power switch. And that has indeed turned off now. So we are uh, pretty happy. Okay, so here we go. Another freezer is done as well. We've got some food. I do feel we need to tell you not to place anything in here and store it in the freezer instead. I think this episode has been pretty uh, fruitful as well. We've got the defenses further improved now. And I think some of these items are starting to get a bit closer. And what is the most important is we're starting to get some... Uh, I don't think we've gotten any yet, but um, these nest of formations, we've cleared out two of them. Why are you dying? Okay, anyways, yeah, we've cleared out two of them, which means we should be able to get and mine a bit of carbon and nano nanotubes, which will help us produce some better weaponry, but also buildings and fences as well. But I think that's where we are going to close this episode out, so thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.